3D tracking text in DaVinci Resolve. Select your clip on the timeline and go to Fusion page. We will use a camera tracker to track our text. Select Media in OneNote, Shift Space and type Camera Tracker. In the Inspector window enable these two checkboxes and hit Auto Track. It will take some time to track your footage. After it's done open Camera tab. Here you can change camera focal length depending on your shot and lens. I'm gonna set it to 15mm. Open Solve window and press Solve. This will solve your problematic tracking points in the scene. You can see there are some red and yellow points which are not tracked well, so we are going to avoid them in our future tracking. Open Export tab and click on Export. It will add and transform all information that was scanned and analyzed before in these 5 nodes. Let's delete our first camera tracker node because we don't need it anymore. And reconnect new camera tracker node to Media Out. Now select Merge 3D node and open second viewer window. Select Point Cloud node and decrease size of the points so we can clearly see them. Now we have to choose any tracking point that we want to track our text in. Select the point you want and then press this button to transform it into the node. Disconnect it and delete Merge 3D node. Now we have tracking point data and we will copy its position values to our text later. Now select Merge 3D node and add 3D text node. Type your text. Choose font. Change size if needed. Our text is ready but it's not tracked to our scene yet. So select our node with tracking point information, go to transform window, copy XYZ values and paste it to our text. Now our text is tracked to the point that we chose before. Let's make it smaller. Now choose a second point to our next text. Select the point you like and press on Create Allocator button. Delete Merge 3D node and rename this node to avoid the confusion in the future. Select Merge 3D node and add another 3D text. Type text you want and copy position values from tracking node to our text node. make it smaller, you can adjust 3D parameters using the transform window. Let me lift it up a little. Cool, and choose the third point for the third text. Rename it. Create 3D text, type your text and copy points from our locator node to our text node. Adjust rotation parameters so it matches the scene. Cool, now we need to animate our text. Select your first text, go to text, right click, follower. Open modifiers window, select transform tab and add keyframes on offset. So your text will drop from above. Go to timing and increase delay value and change order to completely random. So now our characters are animated individually. Open Keyframe Editor to adjust keyframe's position if needed. Now open Spline Editor and press S to use your keyframes. Let me adjust the slider like so. Now go to Shading tab to add keyframe to opacity. Open Spline Editor to use your keyframes.
and let's do the same to our first and third text. Right click, follower, go to modifiers window, transform and animate the position. Go to shading tab and animate opacity. Go to timing, change order to completely random, increase delay value and adjust character range to your liking. Don't forget to use your keyframes in Spline Editor because it makes a huge difference. Looking good. Now I will do the same for our third text and speed it up. Cool. Now when everything is done we can add a motion blur. Select Camera Tracker node, go to Settings and enable Motion Blur checkbox. Increase blur quality. It will look so much better with higher quality and you can change shutter angle as well. Let's see the result. That's it, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you like the content and visit my store to download some cool plugins and free stuff for DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching.